Be gone cool. Welcome back. Well, as you notice here again, the possibility of having below average temperatures for this time of the year. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? The chance that we may actually see a cold front or two within the next week make their way through the capital area, dropping our temperatures by a few degrees. It's been so hot and it's been so humid. We'll take the break. Here are the headlines. However, moving into your Labor Day weekend, we are still going to remain pretty warm for at least the next couple of days. Even with our first cold front arriving over the weekend should be weak. I think the only noticeable difference on Saturday, and we're talking mainly late afternoon, moving into the evening hours will be a little bit of a break from the humidity. Still looks like we may see a couple showers to lead in that front, but that secondary front, which should be a little bit stronger at this point, still kind of looking at models on timing, but it should arrive either Wednesday or Thursday of next week week and that one should be a little bit cooler out there bringing us a much needed break and keeping an eye on the tropics right now we've got two named storms both of them now depressions out there but the other story is three tropical waves possibly four in the next two weeks that could be of greatest concern so here you go doppler radar picture just want to show you right now it's been pretty quiet across the capital area a lot of blue skies as you see however a couple of storms have developed just around i-49 around acadian and a couple more showers a little bit further west just around the Lake Charles area. As you notice, future cast tomorrow, we're going to finish up the work week nice and dry. A lot of sunshine, just a little bit hot out there. Heat in the seas once again will return to triple digits out there, so continue to hydrate. Make sure you take those breaks. Do everything that you need to do. Just be smart outdoors and then moving into your Saturday. Maybe a shower or two. You can see here by the time we get to about mid-afternoon as that front arrives. And right now I'm hoping that it makes its way to the coast. Again, that's a big hope out there. I think it should, and that could give us a little break from the humidity for a few short hours. So here's what we got going. Friday, mainly dry. Same thing for Saturday. Maybe an occasional shower ahead of that front. Sunday looks pretty good. Monday, maybe an isolated storm or two. However, Tuesday, Wednesday ahead of that next front, we should be seeing some scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. And then eventually, as soon as that front pushes through, we do fall back into a drier pattern. At 93 at this hour, still feels like 100 outside. Once again, a very stifling afternoon. A lot of sunshine out there. We got a couple of clouds out there with winds out in the northeast now at about six miles per hour. As you see, current feel like temperatures range from lower 100s to upper 90s, depending on where you live. Just a very steamy forecast. And for all those heading back towards the west, notice still 100 in Jennings. And again, just be smart outdoors. Take those breaks. As you see, even tomorrow, once again, we start out very mild and lower 80s out there at sunrise. But by the time we get into the afternoon, we're still talking feel like temperatures in the lower 100. So here is that satellite picture looking at your tropics. Right now it's tropical depression Nana as of the latest advisory with wind sustained at 35 and obviously in the Atlantic tropical depression Omar still winds at 35. You can see the current path, probably a remnant low by the time we roll into the weekend in the central Atlantic, really not expected to be a threat whatsoever. Could potentially Nana could move back into the Pacific at this point, but that also just looks to be a low and it's not going to be a threat to the Gulf of Mexico. But as you see here, we're on wave watch right now. We've got the potential for four waves coming off the coast of Africa that could be of greatest concern, maybe even some development down the road. Right now, the National Hurricane Center is giving this wave this disturbance a 70% chance of development in the next five days. Long range models even showing it potentially moving into the Caribbean where it could possibly organize and maybe even slide into the Gulf. Again, that's a big maybe at this point. A lot can change over the next week and a half. And again, there's still a lot of time, a lot of model runs in between. Notice this disturbance now has a medium chance of development. You can see that next wave coming off the coast, plus another potential wave here rolling back into the Atlantic in the coming weeks. So again, we're just on wave watch. We're watching each one very closely right now. None of these are immediate threats whatsoever to Louisiana. And I also want to point out that we've still got about two weeks to get to the peak of hurricane season and obviously a lot of season left at this point. And I do want to point out the next name storm will be Paulette, but we've only got six more names in the list. Once we get past this list, well, then we go to Greek letters. So here you go. Here's that seven day picture heading into the holiday weekend. 94 are going to feel like 104 throughout the afternoon. Some sunshine, a chance for a shower, maybe cut that humidity for a few brief hours. Sunday looks pretty good at this point. Labor Day, the chance for an occasional storm out there. And then we got storms Tuesday and Wednesday. And hopefully that front should be strong enough that we may even see a break in the heat on Thursday. Highs in the mid 80s, potentially even overnight lows dropping into the 60s. And